greetings in the spirit of Gambianism. Um, nu yun alin yun yip. Kuneka si Trump Aksantam. Um, this is something I wanted to do for the past couple of days. Unfortunately, I couldn't. Um, normally, yes, you will hear my name being mentioned on quite a good number of things. Um, a lot of times, I don't respond to all the things or most of the things that my name is mentioned on. I have to do this right now because I don't have um, a lot of time. Um, just coming from a meeting and I am heading back home. Uh, but as I sit here, this is something that I have to do uh, because it is important. I get dragged a lot into these type of things and I don't respond. But occasionally, yes, I will fire back or respond to um, uh, 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 certain things. And what happened is, last week, Wednesday, or Tuesday or Wednesday, I got a call from somebody who told me that um, some woman was assaulted at the airport in Banjul. Uh, the woman lives here in Seattle. I didn't even know the woman lives here in Seattle and get assaulted in Banjul on her way back to Seattle. Um, she had to cancel her flight and that um, they would want um, some investigation done on it. Or act actually not even investigation. They would just want that to be reported. Because with what we do, the natural tendency is people uh, think we are here to fight their battles. And I will say it loud and clear. We are not here to fight anybody's battle. Uh, you have something going on with you. You are okay, It's okay. You feel free to give us whatever information you want to give us. But then we will follow our due diligence and uh, reach out to all parties concerned to the best of our knowledge and ability to try to get everybody's uh, input. So after I was contacted, uh, I told this woman, she said, can she give my number? So she gave my number to the lady. And this person happened to be in Daifa to um, show who I live here with her honestly how mako yago masiatul no no it's not because of anything but I've been here for about three years and I don't know everybody so and Seattle has a large Gambian community I didn't know her and she reached out to me and narrated her side of the story she sounded very pissed she sounded um very angry and she sounded very she was disappointed and angry with the system in Gambia. Uh, from what she narrated, she had an encounter. She came to the airport and had an encounter with one Mr. Seka who was supposed to help her. And eventually, I mean, um, it's about her luggage and she was negotiating with Mr. Seka. Eventually, um, one Aziz uh, Francis Mendy, who is supposed to be the station manager for Brussels Airline in the Gambia, came to her and then they started having a conversation and eventually the conversation didn't go down well and finally Aziz had to um, assault her from what she said I mean slapped her uh, from what she said uh, she started bleeding and stood there at the airport helpless and again I keep emphasizing according to her um, she started bleeding and helpless and nobody was there to help her um, They even had to call their security or whatever to get her out of the office after she was bleeding and in the process of uh, going through that um, According to her honorable Halifa Salah walks in um, she Halifa Salah spoke to her and begged her to actually let go the issue and return to America According to her, she told Halifa Salah, no, I want to make sure that justice is done for this um, uh, uh, in this situation. I want to make sure that this person um, uh, 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 loses his job because I am told that this is not the first time he's doing it, that he's used to doing this. And I want to make sure that he is fired. Halifa Salah Nyanko, and she said, no, she wasn't going to let go. So according to her, Halifa Salah left and... She was disappointed with Halifa. 
and claim that, well, if this was Halifa's child, Halifa being a politician, being the head of a political party and also a National Assembly member, Halifa could have facilitated something and called the police or do whatever she, he had to do. I mean, um, 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 to make sure that, I mean, the situation was taken care of, but Halifa walked away, according to her. She had to call her own family who are working in the system and NIA um, who happens to be her cousin for uh, him to come and actually assist her and that same NIA boss had to call people um, uh, uh, the security heads in the police um, and she had to go to the hospital um, and was given some ibuprofen or whatever and that is what definitely led to the arrest her cousin had to come to the airport and actually talk to the police and tell them mom what are you for no no poor guy arrest uh, 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 this guy who assaulted her mom day father so she said all that she had to say I asked her for the name, um, um, uh, the name of the guy and Halifa Salah. Three people are involved here. It was definitely a crime scene because assault was done. She sent us uh, pictures of her um, 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 her face, a video, her ticket and all the other information. And I'm saying this because she wanted this out there anyway. And I looked at all the evidences and the stuff she gave me, right? The next thing I did is contact my team in Gambia. And I told them about it and interview her. And my team went and interviewed her, Mom Dei Fatung in Gisco. For those of you who haven't seen the interview, she was interviewed. My team went to her house in Carnifing and interviewed her. And she spoke and repeated the same thing she told me. She sent me text messages and also told me this verbally on the phone. And when um, my team went to interview her, for those of you who haven't seen the interview, she said the same exact thing that she told to me what i just narrated to you guys how she's disappointed with halifa salah how she's disappointed with the system that people didn't do this people didn't do that and eventually i mean if halifa was if this was halifa's child halifa would have acted you watch the video and you will hear and they to saying these things we didn't stop there we look for brussels airlines contact and had called them for a whole day the whole of friday we've been calling brussels airline and they didn't pick up the phone um I made sure we went there on Saturday my team went to the airport from midday from 11 rather they left the office around 10 30 11 I had to get up over here around 2 a.m. to talk to them and make sure that a.m. all the way to um, 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 4 p.m. because they were told that this guy is not actually um, 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 uh, uh, there um uh, uh, uh the, the the aziz guy was not there and he had to wait she had they had to wait there until 4 p.m before they could talk to aziz and when they spoke to aziz um uh he asked them to give him a few minutes he spoke to them and came back and referred them to the sn brussels headquarters in brussels because according to him he could not give any further information even though what happened between him and the passenger happened any further that is what um i uh, supposedly um, um as he told our team on a separate note we contacted honorable halifa sala we've seen pictures on social media that he has traveled we called his phone and he wasn't available anyway um we started going down the list of people who would potentially have some connection with Halifa to find out if they knew something about it. The first person we contacted was Idrissa um, Jalo, the DOI um, press secretary. We uh, contacted him to no avail. I was on the phone with my uh, uh, board. I was on the phone with them when these calls were made. And in fact, I gave them those contacts to contact these people. Nukolko, he wasn't available. Adam Abba was contacted. He wasn't available. Amisila was contacted. She wasn't available. Keksane was contacted. And he was available. Keks was available. Guy Wahak Mom and they told him the story. I was on the phone when this thing happened. When they were talking to Keks. I was on the phone. Because I worked with the truth from beginning to end. I pioneered it and I worked with them on the story. All through from beginning to end. The young men that uh, wrote the story. I worked with them on it all through and guided them as to what to do and stuff 
motax ma len ko de wax ne legi you don't see a lot of pa usman doing shows um a lot of times but then you will um see a lot of behind the scenes stuff ma nge jangal a lot of young people in the gambia sharing the skills and knowledge that i have the little that i know with the job about the job with these young people i guided them all through told them that he was not with the team that went to the airport with Halifa but he will find out and get back to us I was on the phone this is what Kex told them I will find out and I will get back to you guys we left it at that for Friday until late night they were there putting together um, what they already have the story part of the story uh, waiting to get the reaction from the other parties the other person that was contacted is ASP Laminjai, the public relations officer of the Gambia Police Force. ASP Njai, according to him, he does not have any information about this particular case and that he was going to find out and get back to us, according to what Laminjai said, the public relations officer of the Gambia Police Force. Momtamid Lollawa. Saturday, hey, they're going from Laminjai, um, uh, they're going from Kex. We went to the airport and spent the whole day and did not get any information from the airport. Now we came back Saturday. Sunday. Monday. We had to finalize the story. Because we have reached out to all parties concerned. That same Monday, I contacted Bukhari Gasama in Sweden to tell, to ask him if he knows the people Nyehalifa stay with in Germany. The people who took Khalifa in Germany, I asked Buhari if he can give me their contact so that I can reach out to Khalifa. And Buhari told me that Khalifa had already left Gambia, um, Germany, and is on his way back to um, the Gambia. Now, story that we received from Wednesday of last week: Mudef Sunjoho Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yet we still have to keep waiting for that story because we could not get hold of Honorable Khalifa Salah. We published the story on Tuesday. And exactly put all sides to the people that we have contacted. We wrote one day far to explain to us, which of course is in the video, which you guys can see, which um, is something she texted to us and everything it was surprising to see um a reaction that came from keksane at first uh brother of course a good brother who we value a lot and do a lot with on our platform for that matter um uh, uh, we saw a reaction from keksane and keks is the first one that misled the people keks dafanak as can be and i challenge keks Fanlam Nukole back for those of you that follow Kex. He said that he has reached out back to Ross and he has given us the information. And for some reason, we deliberately decide to ignore or not to include what he gave us. Mange challenge Kex Sane, Makanla Wahal, because it is only two other people who were involved with this story Suleiman Wan and Usman Lee. And they called him using the office phone. I remember telling them to put credit in the office phone and call him and call them Kerak office phone Bilenko Kole until this minute we haven't seen a call back from Kex and none of these two people have spoken to Kex again and they had called him yesterday I was on the phone yesterday when they called him back to engage him further to discuss this issue and he hung up the phone on them now I'm challenging Kex Sane to start with him. I'm challenging him for him to actually produce. He promised to talk to Halifa Salah and get back to us. Now I am challenging Kex Sane to produce where he he can la wahal sinun ban number la call ag can la wahal ag ban information la joko kunono. It never happened. He hadn't spoken to any of my team members. None of them, because I was constantly in touch with these people throughout the weekend about this particular story, asking them questions if we anybody had gotten back to us. And that Monday, the same thing happened on Tuesday. Sungen said that story wasn't published early enough on Tuesday. So for Kex to now come and mislead the people and say, ne, Mom, he has given us information and we left that out, it is not true. Dulu am. He's a good fellow. But fi wahu fi dega, lim wah amut, tay amut elek. 
with all due respect it didn't happen now it didn't only stop at keks trying to discredit us honorable halifa Salah himself wrote a reaction wrote a statement which they are calling us whatever they are saying the swing story is misleading then you are more misleading story bobo contact name day fatu day fatu gave us information day fatu told us that he was assaulted by somebody she was assaulted by somebody at the airport learn more misleading see lulu what she told us is exactly what we report now to confirm if they fatu did tell us that go back and watch the video that they fatu did you go back to the go to our youtube channel and you watch the gambian talents tv you go to youtube and search gambian talents tv uh us based um uh, gambian woman assaulted allegedly assaulted by sn brussels boss go ahead and check that video out and you will hear Ndaifatu saying exactly what we wrote you will hear Ndaifatu saying exactly what we wrote in the story um nemom lulu mokodal her version of the story now every other person we contacted we did not get any information from them and that is exactly what we indicated we indicated that contact and lamin jai and lamin jai did not get back to us we indicated that uh, and said he was going to get back to us and he didn't get back to us until the time of going to press we indicated that we contacted we tried to reach out to um uh uh uh, uh, uh mr seka and the same thing now for the fact that um they to mention halifa sala if they have anything to take up, they should take it up with Ndaifatu and not with us. Not with us. Because Ndaifatu Mokowak. Ndaifatu mentioned Halifa Salah's name. And this is where I am going to come in. Uh, it is becoming a trend. And I want to make sure that I send this message out. To the political parties in the Gambia. To the political parties in the Gambia. And they are surrogates, militants, supporters. It is about time. You stop being too obsessed with the people that we support. But in a new kid, Ricky Riffy, Swing Hamut, Nail Light, I'm Honorable Halifa Sala. Bimaneka Gambia. I did a lot of projects with Honorable Halifa Sala. I did a lot of projects with Honorable Halifa Sala when I was in the Gambia. Swing Youth in Development and Change Yidak, for those of you who knew Pa Usman and what he. I pioneered a youth organization called Youth in Development and Change with my colleagues that we work on Mark Nyom Mohamed Galan and Nurusi and Usman Jaju and all the people that you guys would hear me talk about or, or hang out with. The Youth in Development and Change. Honorable Halifa Sala played a big role in our constitution. Gamsen's Reconciliation, which I was the president of, which I was the chairman of. Bin Kodef, Halifa Sala, then Jahaso Wondubari. He was one of the speakers at our closing ceremony, Bindefon Gambia High. That was probably my uh, uh, one of my first projects. He made them the attend conferences, he made attend symposium and, and, and other national programs. He made attend Museteo. This um, uh, Gamsen's reconciliation was the first encounter that I had, direct encounter I had with Halifa Sala when we invited him as our one of the speakers. The closing ceremony been defund Gambia High. Nidan con Gambia High between uh, the year 2000, Axen Augustine's year 2000, be 2002 will be able to relate to this thing, especially Gams and Reconciliation, B, which I was the chairman of. This was my first encounter with Halifa Sala. And, uh, and when Gambian Talents was um, open, uh, he came here to North Carolina, Fekama Fofunono, and we've had a long conversation Mark Halifa Sala and when he was in Seattle I interviewed him again so this is nothing new uh Chilo Hamne Damako Wahwala Damako fabricate here when it comes to me and Halifa Sala and um Loham Lifina a very respectable man somebody that is very seasoned somebody that actually um um loves the Gambia and uh, does a lot for the country um somebody that I respect a lot but at this point I did not expect Khalifa Salah to join Keksane in this crusade of trying to discredit us. It's not going to work. And it's not Khalifa Salah alone. Barely less than a month ago, La went through the same process here with the folks from UDP. And I will explain that as well. Because Tontu um, Mawo um, 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 with a video or whatsoever, what I did with the UDP folks is just write a piece and I left it at that. After one week of them cussing me out left and right and calling me all kinds of names. And the only thing that happened at the time was I am a, a, a part of a lot of these WhatsApp groups. 
with the different political parties. And this particular day, I just happened to open some of the um, 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 uh, uh, um, uh, WhatsApp groups that are the Baro Youth Movement or Baro Camp. And I continue to see this yellow picture popping there, popping there, popping there. And I click on one of them, which is accompanied by an audio. I clicked on one of them and it happened to be Lawyer Usain um, um, uh, uh, uh image when he just arrived in, 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 in Germany. And uh, they have already circled part of Lawyer Davos doing something with a woman's private part and stuff. And it is accompanied by an audio. For those of you who listened to my show that time, I had played the audio that was accompanied that accompanied this picture, which was said that okay, lawyer Usain Odabo was having an affair with this woman and other women, and that he is not a serious politician and all kinds of allegations. This is the Baroque camp creating this message, and I wrote a story on this, an editorial on this, talking about how we should do away with dirty politics. And that no matter law bind lawyer Usain Udabo, Bulko created something. Don't create anything for lawyer Usain Udabo that he did not do. Don't create anything for President Adam Abaro just because you, you, you belong to another party or any other political party. Then it's about time that we are civilized and we do away with dirty politics. This was the content of the piece that we put out. Of course, it was accompanied by the picture that was being propelled and shared by the President Barrow WhatsApp groups on different WhatsApp groups. And I still have this audio. Guy the Koshia with the picture of Lawyer Dabo. I whether it was coming from the UDP camp, whether it was coming from the Barrow camp, I condemned it. We published this. A lot of the UDP folks did not even read this. They just went by their emotions just because they saw us publish the picture. Tusungal nenma, mekob nenma, sholal nenma shovo, saga nenshuma yai, saga nenshuma papa, oya nenma tribalis, and all kinds of names. For what? For what? Damalen kode wa sai suneka, sai puneka mawaklenko. Farafenya la joge, suma bai kir bilam la joge. Chikurgi, chitigente konte kunda ak Ilyasa. Fana fana, damalen kode wak nelen. Onkul daf madan buge yu ni sak ne mayo do nangam dem de meman doch manan. Sagan de reglen moun, fana fana la barke yalla. Fana fana la. Sagan de reglen moun. Ken si yen, anybody who causes me out, I dare you. Suma toge ak yen yu sagan ten de dinga daw life be elek. Be elek dinga daw, sagan de reg. Kwa yitu luman damo. We ought to be civilized people. We ought to be able to engage. And for that reason, I had addressed the UDP folks at the time. And I told them, gone are the days when we are going to be intimidated. Just yesterday, watching the TRRC, you've heard how um, um, the, 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 the independent newspaper was being burned down by Yaya Jame. You've heard how independent newspaper is being burned down by Yaya, by, by, by Yaya Jame. Nyom Sol, by a guy, how they burnt it down. The media was suppressed. The media was oppressed. Last sitting of the CRRC, we've heard the testimonies that the journalists gave and what they had to go through in the Gambia. I know very soon people will start to bring out this rhetoric. Hamulen lima defte nidu mapurwaken luma defte suma defuton daraitamit sak. Suma defuton daraitamit. Gone are the days when anybody will be mute in the Gambia. Nedangar deglu wala denyo bai ken mu We are all victims and everybody has a collective responsibility. Do not talk finak they justify lila def lila def lila def lila def or whatsoever. But at the end of the day, all I am saying is I have been through this with GDC in the past because we have written something and I'm saying and GDC had to come out and uh, uh, through MC Champ Junior, Soma Brodabi, of course, and they also um, 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 made a mountain out of molehill from this. Doi, the same thing. In the past, we have written another story in which Doi came out, and um, uh, 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 a lot of the other parties, APRC, Amulunyu Sagut, when we published the video of the Imam being interviewed, the Imam Bidi Wahlubarisi TRRCB, Lolo is just two, three, four months ago. We have been there with GDC. We have been there with UDP. Numerous occasions UDP. Seconded by Doi. But UDP ak Doi. Yi mofi wara jekh. Yi mofi wara jekh. And you are not going to silence us. I sent out a message to everybody in Gambia.
whether a businessman ga whether a politician ga whether danga hold any public office or you are a public figure even tinyuneka online let us get this media is here to stay and we are supposed to be partners in national development we are supposed to be the fourth arm of government and we are here to serve as a check on society what is happening in the society we are obligated to report these things so when something, if you are involved in something and we reach out to you, give us the information that we are asking for. Um, uh, uh, your side of the story, at least for that matter. Not necessarily you don't have to give us anything that uh, we are not looking for any particular information. Uh, 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 just want your side of the story so that we can have a fair and balanced story. And I say this to my team all the time. When I train the young people, I have already started preparing their minds that the Gambia Media Fraternity, the biggest challenge faced by Gambia Media Fraternity is access to information. Lack of access to information. It is so hard. And I can mention so many instances. We have had a documentary or, or a piece we were doing, a special report we were doing on Yuffi Crocodiles in Banjul. Last Saturday, Len Dora published Lulu. One month ago, Len Yuffi information. Until this minute, the government hasn't responded. Them to the Ministry of Environment and a few ministries back and forth, back and forth. Every day, some reporters to face pass them back and forth, back and forth. Same ministry, be new alte, new alte, like Jokhlen business card, Jokhlen. Now, so they may be public story, and then some uh, uh, form of um, damage is done. You bugan your death, damage control. You bugan your react when they could have been proactive rather than being reactive. And it happens a lot of the times. They shut their doors to us when we want information. It happens all the time, whether it is the government ministries, whether it is the private sector, anywhere in Gambia. Especially if it has to do with something that is not going right. What are where they are supposed to be the custodian of information? Naneka lo hamnerek, the far tough on them. Once the corrections are going to be challenging, they run away. They run away. And all they are supposed to do is just to answer the question. You ask them, Ninja what their version of the story. But we like to run away from the media. Whether we are not used to it, whether they quite have deliberately, or whatever the case is. But all I am saying is, at this point, I've come back to it. I had to mention these other parties. And it is because Doi has taken it to the next level with the, uh, Mr. Halifa Salah himself. You go back and read what Halifa wrote. He titled it as a, a misleading story that we are misleading people. Well, then, my one thing in that story that is misleading. Let Halifa, Keksane, or any member of the Doi come point out to me what is misleading there. The only part that Halifa was mentioned is when they Fatu said that she's disappointed with Halifa and they Fatu exactly explain what she thinks I mean happened between Momak Halifa and Sister Magisgis, Le Halifa wa agunde Fatu wa sipo pamda fa corroborate because Halifa confirmed nane fake in a scene before funono. Nde Fatu wa nane Halifa daf konyan a mom mu bany. And Halifa did say, okay, bim konyane mubany, mom mu he was going to miss his flight. And as a result, he had to go, I mean, uh, 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 his way. Because we could have missed flight, and be. Then they Fatu didn't know the pressure he was going through. Mom si bopam, he was almost going to miss his flight and all the other things. Which is understandable. Which is understandable. At no point or at no place in the story will you see us giving any suggestion or whatever that story was written um, 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 and put together and if you look at it i would fend for jelly sites while i fend for how many you definitely for an editorial or an opinion piece or whatsoever we just reported what we were told and then for full and more for misleading need one and a limo how gonna do sang a money limo how don't shoot the messenger don't shoot the messenger if your political opponents want to use that um, to gain political points against you, that's between you and them. That's between you and them. We did all that we can. We called Halifa Salah's phone and it was off. We called Keksane. We called Amisilla. We called, um, 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 uh, 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 um, uh, uh, what you call him, Idrisa. All of them. And I think calling four to five people ño xamne they are close to khalifa fok na de ak xam xam bu ndaw buñ am li ngeen ño oyé né on professional and the like xam xam bu ndaw buñ am de lim ñu wax rek moy ñu wara wane in good faith in good faith that we have followed due diligence by reaching out to the people we are not required to get hold of somebody and why should we keep holding a particular story 
Why should we keep holding it for days? Keks as a person, a khalifa yep, with their media background, how many about stale story nak? Look how one week ago, then ko one week, two weeks, three weeks. Just put hard to hear from, back from Khalifa Salah. No. And to be fair and balanced, we did publish his reaction today. We did publish his reaction. I don't think it's a one-sided thing. And Lulu Molen ko one, whoever calls us a racist or tribalist, dama feka lingawa hamuloko. Marofak, I was very happy when we just brought in about 15 new interns two weeks ago. I am being labeled as anti Mandinka. Yin ma wak la lena wak. Manelen, six or seven of those new people who came are Mandinkas. We just put out the advert and they applied people I don't know from Adam. And we brought them in after um, 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 they, 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 they met, met the qualifications to be part of our internship project. I have a few Mandinka programs. Diben Kotobi Mungfa. Men nyanta tayla ko joge def mak pa Ibrahim Abba Mawa koto. We do this for good for five years. Mak pa Ibrahim Abba Mawa koto joge def mama men nyanta. Two years now, Yusuf Ajata nge def di ben koto. If I was anti Mandinka, I don't think I will give any Mandinka content access on the Gambian Talents platform. If I was anti Mandinka, I will not do that. And I would always say it. So my best jarbat, Mandinka la. I have some Mandinka nieces. I am the matron to Wadoi, Khalifa Salah Akkex, but also reminding folks of some of the other things you have happened between man at Yenin um, 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 uh, 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 political parties or when we write critical stories on them. But kidem balen nyeka si airport bi we covered UDP's um um uh 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 lawyer double's return tomorrow at twelve o'clock midday. Fat Samba will be interviewing um 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 Kemo Bojang, the youth leader of uh UDP, on the Gambian Pride show. I interviewed Kemo when he was here. Si time to baskibi. Next week, Mangiwara am Ibrahim Adiba of the UDP. MC Cham was on our platform a week or two ago. Two, three weeks, two weeks ago, began a commission report beginning. The same thing with um Mr. Ja, the uh, youth leader of and, and spokesperson for the APRC. So we are dealing with all of these political parties. Whenever we cover things that they um, 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 uh, uh, is in line with Nyomlin Buga, that favors their party, that is doing PR work for their party. We are heroes in their books. And whenever we publish anything that would have to have some negative impact, supposed negative impact on their party, then we are monsters, we are unprofessional, we are racist, we are tribalists, we are this, we are that. Lulu Mofijek, Mofijek, I am telling you, nobody is going to be able to intimidate us, character assassinate us. Kuneka nak ak ninga bugegisi. Kuneka. I'm saying this because there are some people who actually went to the extent um, some people in other media houses or who have their social media platforms I mean and have like followers that went ahead to brand us that way and we will have people cussing us out or sending us messages left and right labeling us to be anti-Mandinka I, I say it specifically because I have not heard it yet I yet where I've been told I'm anti-Jola or I'm a tribalist because I hate the Jolas. I have not heard anywhere where I have been told I am anti Sarahule. I have not heard anywhere where we've been told we are anti-Manjago um, or Serial or whatever. But we have been told that we are anti-Mandinka. And for that reason, yes, we'll mention it. We'll mention it. So Alifa Salah, coming back to it, is definitely unfortunate that he has to go to that extent. Yes, they fought to work on Contractal day fatu si suf nga wakak mom. You want day fatu's number, we'll be glad to give you day fatu's number. My reporters challenge keks on that. He said he has asked us to give him day fatu's number. I was on the phone. And I had the conversation. And there was nothing like that. 
There was nothing like that. It is very important for you understand, Ante. It is very important that we are on the same page. We are partners in development. They run a media house. They run for a year. Before I had the Ibi, through the Judo name Moilolo. But how my Ben and other story there. But I am telling you, I have said this over and over. We are a non profit public broadcasting network. For the record, we are. I am training a lot of young people this minute. We employ a lot of young people this minute. We are giving them the opportunity to do a lot of um, um, things. So sometimes you see those things, a lot of you, and I'm using this opportunity to also enlighten people about Gambian talents on our platform. You see these young people coming. You know they are school dropouts. You know they are back where returnees, they went to the back way and they couldn't make it. They were either um, uh, uh, deported or they voluntarily uh, 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 came back by themselves. This could be your family, my family, your neighbors, my neighbors. We just put the advert out there. At no point or at no single time do we sit without having less than a hundred applications on our desk. We don't have the capacity. At this point, we are only taking 10 people at a time. So if we give these young people an opportunity, you join the platform, we give them the microphones, teach them the basics for a couple of weeks. Ask the people. Those young people you are talking about, Sirif Bojang Jr., the president of GPU, was there to teach them on how to cover riot and, 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 and demonstrations. Lawyer Asan Martin was there to actually teach them how to, um, um, about the media laws in the Gambia, the libel and slander laws in the, of the Gambia, and also the do's and don'ts about, of journalism. Lamin Jai of the Fatu Network was there just last week, Friday. Like exactly ten years ago, Friday, in Nineka, Kiro, Gambia. Lamin Jai was there to actually share his story with them. Before that, Omar Wali was was there to share his story with them. I mean, um, uh, 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 this guy of Ted Dungal was there last week. The guy from Ted Dungal was there. He was there to train them. So we have a um, season. Um, 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 journalists and people from different walks of life who are coming to actually train these young people. So, you can see the microphone. Now, let them again make mistake and you correct yourself. You know, and these young people go out there. Do you know how many lives we save? Do you know what these young people could find? If they were out on the streets with idle minds, they could have been doing anything and anything for that matter. I will appeal to the Gambian people to understand that. And this is a zero budget project. Those young people are not paying anything. They are not paying a single dime to learn the skills that we are teaching them. And just today, tay, 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 tay. La am kena sinyom kuma wane mugye them somewhere else. Other media houses have now started spotting out the people that we are training. Nyo hamne demi and never have been given an opportunity to go to any of these places. They are now starting to give them um, 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 uh, opportunity so that they can. Um. I think this is something that is what commendable. But... We are doing what we are doing. It is our contribution to the society. These young people are trying their best. Whether they write stories, whether they go and do interviews, they make mistakes. They are learning. Let us understand that they are learning. Some of them, like I said, are school dropouts. Some of them, like I said, are back where it is. Some of them are students of the University of the Gambia and other tertiary institutions who don't have the practical knowledge of journalism. When Omar Wali was there, he said it. He died of journalists. They are the first batch of journalists that have been trained, oh, um, 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 that graduated from the UTG, School of Journalism, this year. More the first batch that UTG graduate. So a lot of these people go to the university to study um, 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 journalism. Then first year, second year, some of them say third year, they never have any media experience. Musunyo tie microphone wak anywhere. Musunyo binda any story that is published in any in, 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 um, newspaper. These are the young people we are giving opportunity to. Koko Wedi, Lajal Maria Tussar. She now works at QTV. She started right here. So in first buy of journalism, Fala Maria Tussar Boka. Aida Kebe is in her third year at the university. We brought her on board. She's now... I mean, a full-time employee of Gambian Talent. Came as an intern. Mungron studied journalism. Didn't have any practical knowledge. You see her on our platform every single time. 
So it is very important that we know things in context. Uh, whatever the case is, Nenlen by the misleading. The party militants, supporters, surrogates, sympathizers, and members of the political parties. We understand that we are all passionate about our political leaders. And we don't want to see anything besides their success. We don't want to see anything besides them being painted as good people. We understand that. We have no intentions, wishes, hopes or whatsoever to tarnish anybody's image. It is not our doing. It is not our wish. Occasionally, like I've, guys, like I already indicated to you guys, we already have people that we are training. They are trying and they are training. So you don't expect those people to do perfect stuff. But we are training them and we are emphasizing to them the importance of the professionalism, the importance of doing things and doing it the right way. On a separate note, every single um, a media house, just during the political empires of Gambia, Al Jazeera wrote a story that they got the information from the fake Facebook profile that was um, um, open that said President Adam Abaro of the Gambia or whatever. Some Twitter account is where they got information and publish it. We are talking about Al Jazeera. We are talking about BBC and other newspapers or, or, or um, uh, 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 international media firms. Occasionally, we may make mistakes. And we are aware of this and we are aware of our shortcomings as well. It is not easy to practice in the Gambia. We are doing all that we can. Access to information is the hardest, is our biggest challenge. We have access to resources is another thing. We are doing all we can. And we just set up an editorial I mean, board that will be looking at all of the stories that we publish. And we are doing everything possible to make sure that we follow due diligence. We are aware of our responsibilities that our role is to inform and educate and our mandate is to uh, um, equally entertain the Gambians. We know that this is our mandate. We know that this is our role. And we are doing everything possible to not do um, uh, uh, anything that will damage somebody's character intentionally. Intentionally. We are doing everything possible. We know that we have a platform that is powerful. We know that we have a platform that has a good number of following. And at what we write can impact people can damage people or make people. We have had a lot of things that we um, 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 wrote or talked about that had a great negative impact on people's lives, and we are aware of that. We have written and talked about a lot of stories that had a great positive impact on people's lives, and we are aware of that. We don't take pride in actually um, 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 damaging anybody. No, we don't. We can analyze situations. Why you Gambians are going to talk about the people Kunyu praise rek, kunyu wahlu bah, kunyu wahlu rafed rek. And life si bopam is not good all the time. We make mistakes, even if we don't make mistakes. Dama koi wah saju neka kubot buke haj bola. But we should be able to try and put our emotions aside. Sometimes. Or for the most part. For the most part. We should be able to try and do that. We are aware of our responsibilities and like i said we are doing everything possible to make sure that we follow the rules the rules the regulations the do's and the don'ts of what we are here for we are very aware of it and we are learning on a daily basis we are trying to improve our um, our platform we are trying to improve the way we do things we have a lot of shortcomings but nonetheless we will not relent on doing what we are doing now, in summary, gone are the days when anybody will be shut up or will be shut down by any person. No. Dolura, yam om dekabi. Wala sa idea, sa principle, sa philosophy, or sa belief mo itakaw. No. Gone are those days. The Gambia belongs to all of us. And at the end of the day, we have a responsibility to make it the paradise of the world. Whereas nak ninyange um uh, 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 invent, ninyange initiate, ninyange create, and I'm talking about people of people of other nations. For our part, nyunge lekante, nyunge nganyante, nyunge bringante down. Like I said, I ignore a lot that is being said, but occasionally I will come out and actually 
just share my two cents. It is very important for nyo hamlolo. It is very important for nyo to understand. I didn't know Ndai Fatu from how mako won. How mako won until I was contacted by the person who contacted me and told me Ndai Fatu, I mean, fila neka siya to hamlo wako mane ko dedet, maybe mahamko. Mujo mande Ndai Fatu ma communicate mom. I never had a contact or anything. I didn't. So it was done in good faith. We are giving information. Just like we are giving information by so many different people. And that is exactly what happened. It had nothing to do with, I mean, uh, 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 anything. So I think if Halifa Salah had anything to say, of course, so say the content of his letter, besides the headline that said that we misled the people, there was nothing much that he said there. There was nothing much he said there as to how we misled the people. Landling mislead Nini on. We just wrote living. Ne okay, then go ye ma jaha zendai fatu. We are trying to live in. Jaha zendai fatu sinaka. Ndai fatu voluntarily give, gave us the information. Information. He gave us every single thing that we um, 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 uh, 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 that we publish. Some of it through voice message. Some of it through text message. Some of it through the interview that we did with her. Voluntarily. Momo you contact. So this is nothing that is created. This is nothing that is invented. This is nothing that um, uh, came from anywhere. So Nyunglena Nyak as can be. At this point, Khalifa Salah did not write anything. Lohamne um, 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 justified anything as to why he should mention it in there. So don't react. In my view, he should have reacted to Ndai Fatu. He should have reacted to Ndai Fatu. Who said she is disappointed with him? Muna da fabuka mit ndai fatu. Nade mu mitak ndai fatu. Na mitak ndai fatu. Kukula wara mital. If you haven't seen it, go to Keksanes wall. If you haven't seen it, go to our Gambian talents page. And you will see Halifa Salo's response. You will read that whole thing. Besides the headline, Amut Ben uh, Ting Boom point out for Fulula Wanela Lee is misleading. There is nothing misleading. Nothing. Ndai Fatu lim nyu exactly no len bring down. You explain ko. And go listen to Ndai Fatu's video and you compare what we wrote versus what 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 we publish. Go and re re listen to her video. Or read the story. The same thing with um 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 um, um policy in a contract nan The same thing ne um uh, a dem nanchi airport be neck of a whole day after making several phone calls. Why would we? So Gisuma Daralu misleading in that piece. Instead, I take it ne. It is the Doi people who are actually misleading um 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 um, um the folks. Um and here when I talk about Doi, it is Keksane and um 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 um, um Honorable Salah and all the other uh, people who are actually championing this cause. Because we did all that we can. By calling Halifa Salah himself directly, he wasn't available, contacting all the other four or five people who are supposedly close to him. Lulu nakfaleng mana em, te kenen kopi, ma nyak as can be Nenyan by the saga and tewai. Let us learn to be civilized. Nenyan by the character assassinate di yakante. Loma social lune, muna la social lukorao. Loma social lune, muna la social lukorao. Loma saga lune, muna la saga lukorao. I want to emphasize that. Anything you create about me, anything you invent about me, anything you fabricate about me, I can do worse than that or more than that. So it's, it doesn't make any sense. I've been busy running around a whole week long. I thought I need to do this and just had to bring it out. We are aware of our responsibilities once again and at the end of the day we are aware that there's going to be a big backlash because our people we are not very used to this we are not very comfortable with this thing meaning meaning we are not very used to this and that is why it is tough but a lot of the people you know didn't make a criticize the new caricature the new oil names whatsoever oftentimes when they may be button be turned around the next minute they get stay when you walk that day 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 elek elek borrow my neck as a situation what i'm not afraid of either with the authorities while something is going wrong law i'm not um 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 uh that's got affect the first people they contact is us 
nun le nyo contact whether it has to do with their party whether it has to do with their family whether it has to do with their job whether it has to do with any other relationship or whatever it is about their life when people are desperate to nini jakhle nyu bari si nyun lañ de ton back to and i have so many of these experiences of people who will condemn us people who said they cannot stand my god people who said they are, they, they, they they i mean i'm uh, uh, i'm evil i'm li i'm lele but feka affect gula information yun de publish feka affect gula so then they may be affect that they turn around and come back to us and uh, uh, ask us pour new publish ko pour new waxti pour new create awareness this is happening all the time all the time ben de du passé te awma messages ben de du passé te awma messages of people contacting me the two t- i don't have the capacity or the time for the proper investigation on it man ko topa has to do with i mean uh, a very uh, 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 aluminium vehicle um 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 uh, 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 plate plates involving the gambia police force benenbi has to do with the backway and the new rumor that is out about the backway benenbi has to do with um 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 uh, 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 um uh, uh, nakalenko oye some young gambians who are supposedly um uh, uh, trying to deceive people by collecting money from them na dafle na critical canadian visa and the like these are all different stories yo xamne seeni borom suñ jaaxle ci la ñoo ñoo ci ñun suñ jame be feel ne bu gane ñoo am ku len ram ku len resku ku binda wala wax ci ñom pour create awareness that's the only time they come to us so we are used to this and kunyo tamin no matter how much you cost us in the past or whatever you said in the past we are partners in development you know how many responsibilities and how many when people are mad they can say anything or do anything this is where we are so fima teje rek baby sagan day bi wala fabricate stories no regardless of what it is so sagut day tamit nga dem create any story nga dem invent fabricate anything just because you want to tarnish our image or just because wax nañ dara lo xamne nexur la ta kene nako wax ñun ñu jottali rek wala ñun ñu bind ko rek wala ñu waxtane ko o analyze ko should not make you character assassinate us because we at this point comme ni mako waxe daf de bax yenay pour ñu gene ñu wax li ma ngi leena gërem di leen sante bu baaxa baaxa baax thank you very much for listening i apologize for any inconvenience ak nuko nit muñ ti gisé when i do videos sometimes I am very passionate about this but I think about it and think about it multiple times. People will call and say okay genel video bi bay li bay lele. This is not a fight between me and Keksane or me and Honorable Khalifa Sala. We will continue to write about the UDP. We will continue to write about the APRC. We will continue to write about DOI. We will continue to write about PPP. We will continue to write about um um a uh, 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 gap and all the other political parties together with all the other i mean people in the country uh, uh, who are holding public figure dinañ wax ci ñom dinañ bind ci ñom we will continue to do so and tomorrow tomorrow to reach out back to him to amon anything else lo xamne dañ ko soxla from halifa sala dinañ reach out to mom su gaay amé any press conference or any event that they invite us to that we can cover it dinañ dem ñu cover ko like i said this is not supposed to be a fight between individuals it is not let us not be too emotional about these things comme ni mako waxe we da ñom kek sa elek 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 you don't be surprised you can say you def back something with them waxna len ne mangi ñu ngi wara interview kemo bo jang elek waxna len ne mangi wara interview ibrahima diba i mean we are trying to talk to different people different people different individuals we can have different regardless of what it is like you might be emotional sometimes but let us control our emotions manglena gerem di len santa thank you all very much for watching in the spirit of gambianism uh, for the gambia our homeland we strive and work and play thank you